Maybe it's just me, but isn't professional hockey weird? I mean, body checking is legal, fist fights are allowed, and there's this penalty called icing. Yeah, I still don't know what that is. It's okay if you don't either. The manual included with accolades Brett Hull Hockey will tell you. This game probably should have been released more toward the beginning of the NHL season, but if you're a hockey fan, you'll agree that Hull is worth the wait. In case you don't recognize the name, Brett Hull is the star wingman for the St. Louis Blues. Short of Wayne Gretzky, he's probably the most famous active player in a league which boasts few commercial superstars. Hull isn't the only pro found in his game. In fact, all of the 94-95 NHL players and their teams are included. Clicking on a player from a roster will bring up his info screen. The more famous players are identified by digitized photos. Like any worthwhile sports game, Hull allows for exhibition and league play. For those who have lives outside of their office and can't play all day, many seasons of 11 or 42 games can be set up. And get a load of these options. You can toggle sound, penalties, and pretty much whatever you want to, cheater. Imagine an 84-game season completely devoid of penalties. After choosing two teams for an exhibition game, it's off to the ice. Not so fast. First, it's off to this screen here, where you can make last-minute player changes and also coach your team, which actually alters their attributes. Each team is rated in eight categories, but you can basically change these ratings to whatever you choose, provided the total stays the same. So, for instance, we could take two points off of aggressiveness here and add them to skating. Okay, I guess that's neat. I don't see the point, really, but Accolade must know something I don't. Okay, now it's off to the ice. The playing perspective is similar to the one used in console football games like Madden and NFL 95. It's a good perspective for hockey, too. Yeah, and the speed of the game is challenging, but definitely playable. One problem I had occasionally, though, was knowing who had the puck. Hull uses a small gray disc underneath the player to signify possession, but when you're in a crowd and moving around, it's a bit difficult to tell who's who. There are some minor glitches here and there, but they don't really hinder gameplay that much. For instance, computer-controlled goalies have a tendency to hold on to the puck too long after a save, often to the point where a face-off is required. Also, maybe it's just my spectacular natural ability finally manifesting itself, but when I played with good teams, I tended to skate right through the computer's defense. The game makes up for this somewhat by making breakaway shots more difficult, so the final scores are generally on par with what they should be. A nice hit by 24. That was Al Michaels. If you don't recognize the voice, you've been watching the wrong shows on Monday night. Al is definitely one of the best play-by-play -play guys around, and Accolade definitely deserves a thumbs up for using his digitized voice in Hull. I played several full games, and Al's commentary didn't miss a beat on any of them. He even does a, we'll be right back when you pause your game. I love it. The timeout screen is where you'll find every option available to you during an actual game. You can check on stats, substitute goalies, and save games from here. Unfortunately, saving a game boots you back to DOS, which is wonderfully irritating. True. I rarely needed to save, though. I was hooked on Hull enough to play through any game I started. Besides, when you finish, you get to see the players of the game. There's motivation for you. Sure. Well, I'd buy Brett Hull hockey anyway. It's an enjoyable game despite its minor quirks, and it's loads more fun than watching hockey on TV. Personally, I can't wait for the Thrustmaster Skates and Sticks controller.